Let's do a quick uh, energy update for May. I just shuffled up a bunch of decks here. And I'm gonna pick a card from each of these things, right? So I got four of them here. So we have embracing. Oh look, little kitty wants to get involved. We have embracing. Let's <laughs> see if she lets me get through this video. Um, she probably wants a snack. Yes, I love you too, honey. Okay, let's take a card from this deck. Uh, what is it? It's upon a star. So we've got embracing. We've got upon a star. Oh, she's headbutting me a little bit. She's asking me for something. Next, she's going to nibble at my neck probably. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what this one has. This deck, what does it want to tell us? And, uh, oh, judgment, higher self. Judgment, higher self. Okay, and the last deck, just another quick little shuffle. You want to, I've already done that. Put the intention into the deck. Okay, and we have, oh, my breath connects to my life. All right, so we've got embracing upon a star higher self and my breath connects me to my life so i don't know it kind of feels to me like the energies to me this month and probably going into the summer even uh feels like there's major changes about to take place like on a global level uh in your own environment maybe what your state your town your whatever right local your business um maybe within a group of friends and within yourself. So it seems like there's like three tiers sort of of major changes happening kind of all at once. So uh, I guess the embracing part would be, you know, and, and it says here, I embrace and love all of my life, right? So maybe that's embracing these changes without getting like freaked out. So because it feels like some things might be quite big. Um, so we don't want to get freaked out by these things. <laughs> now she's nibbling at my neck. You have to wait, Chloe. Um, you might have seen Chloe's kitty litter art. I have those in some of my shorts. Um, okay, so embracing. So embrace the change. And even if it's something that could be quite shocking or you just don't even, uh, or it just puts you off like you think it's something bad or it's the worst thing that could happen in the world or you just don't understand it, you want to kind of look past that maybe ask some questions like okay so what is it about this that is actually for my highest good like what if this could take me to the next step the next place where I, I plan on being and doing in my life okay so then we had a, upon a star so you know why don't we do that like wish upon a star so put out those intentions especially maybe as these things are developing Always put out that intention that, you know, spirit's got your back and there's a reason for all things. And somehow, some way, whatever this is that's going on is actually leading you to uh, for what is for your highest good, but also for where it is you're going next. Because I think a lot of us are going to be changing pretty dramatically, like maybe not even changing where we live or the work we do, but some kind of a change that is a shift, maybe pushing you a bit further than you've let yourself go before, right? Where you kind of put the brakes on your self, on your abilities, or even on your courage to step into more of who you are. Ah, yeah, that feels right. Okay. Then we have this thing, judgment. Okay. Higher self. So, I don't know. I'm kind of taking it as, you know, your higher self is never judging you, only guiding you, right? The one who judges you is that ego part, that the, the mind aspect that maybe can be like too critical and always looking to the downside. So that's why I think that embracing card was really talking about more of um, embracing those parts of you or those things that are showing up that you would normally want to run away from. OK, because possibly that's you taking that very next step or that leap of faith or diving into a whole new aspect of who you are and what you're here to do. OK, yeah, that feels right. All right. And then this last one, my breath connects me to my life. Yeah. Without the breath, there is no life, right? Your breath connects you to your life. Your breath is the connection between you as the spirit that you are 
the spiritual being that you are right here into this physical machine that you drive around every day, right? So when all this other stuff's going on, and maybe it might seem a little out there, a little crazy, a little disorienting at first, if you do just connect to your breath, and if you're doing nice, slow, easy breaths, eyes closed, sort of like a meditation, you will connect to the higher aspects of yourself, to your higher self, who never judges you, right? Um, and you can bypass all that mental chatter and then allow yourself to just be with your breath. Remember to ground into this earth, right? You don't want to be too far out there in the spiritual realms. We need to have that balance because if you don't already know it, the, the more you can ground in, the further out you can go on your spiritual journey. We're on the earth. We, we're here for a purpose and we need to really be grounded into it, own it, accept it, be it. And with that breath, expand into the higher aspects of you where your higher self does know where you're going and what is good for you. So when we can quiet the mind, right? That's that part that will be judging things. Quiet that part of you. Embrace everything around you, feel your breath, and just ask questions like, all right, so what about this is really taking me to that next level that I've been afraid to go to step into for oh so long? And what if I just wish upon that star, right? Connect to my angels and that spiritual guidance outside that's even beyond my higher self. What if I can just hold this energy, right? This energy, wishing upon a star. To me, it just feels like it's just that cosmic feeling and that connection to, to the creator itself, right? To all of that energy there that is supporting you. But you can think of it and even just isolate like one star out in the sky at night and just focus in on that. And with your breath, just move into that knowing that whatever is going on, you can handle it and you will handle it and you'll come out above you'll rise to the top. You'll move into that next thing that you're traveling towards. So just really enjoy this journey. I have that tattooed on my foot. Enjoy the journey, right? Enjoy it because you don't know where you're going next. Uh, and I'll even say like, you know, I, I'm a healer. I do lots of different modalities, but I've recently been guided to emotion code and body code. I just went with the flow of energy. It took me there. I got um, certified in these modalities and I've been working with them and I got to tell you it's the only thing I want to work with I cannot believe the results people are getting and how this body code is able to integrate mind body spirit and uncover all these trapped energies that are within your system mind body spirit system all of it and release them and assist you in moving even further. So if, you, so if you're having trouble with anything that I'm talking about, all this stuff that's going to be coming in and navigating it, I can always help you with that. So just reach out. Anyway, uh, enjoy this next couple of weeks, possibly into a couple of months. It feels like it's going to be building and it's going to be pretty damn big. <laughs> I'm excited for it. And I hope you are too. And I will see you on another video. I would love you to like, share and comment and, uh, you know, the usual. All right, bye.